Jordan Ritz from Ritz Land and Cattle in St. Laborie, Nebraska, and I've been raising Highlands since 2017. I got started raising Highlands in 2017. Some of my friends had some, and I was just intrigued by the breed, and I just went out and bought my first heifer. What drew me to the breed was, I don't know, I guess it's just something different. I grew up on a Red Angus Emmental farm, and I always kind of wanted to venture out and do something a little different, and I think Highlands just kind of fit the bill for me. Uh, me and my parents, we run about 150 Red Angus Simmental cows, just commercial cow-calf pairs, just just beef producers in Nebraska, and I you know, just always kind of wanted something a little different, and I think Highlands really fit the bill for me. Uh, my goal breeding Highland cattle is I want to breed animals that can go and compete in the show ring, but then also go out to the pasture, and raise a calf and fill the freezer with beef because after all this is a beef breed. Um, a piece of advice for somebody would be if you're just getting into the breed do your research and start out with quality animals don't just see something on Craigslist and think it's cute and go and buy it just do your research spend your money and start out good with good stuff. Um, I don't really think I do anything different just live and learn I mean you're always gonna I mean, every day is a new experience. Just get up, learn, and yeah. I think the future of the breed is in pretty good hands. Quality is really getting better. It's the one thing that we do need to check out, though, is the miniature and pet people. They're, I mean, they just see something cute and cuddly, and they just buy it, and they think it needs to reproduce. And, it, I mean, it's not good for anybody, people or animals. But as a general, I think the breed's really taking a step in the right direction and changing for the better.